Alrighty guys, here we go. Final game of week two. Oh, it says I'm actually set to hosting Davies, so let me get that cleaned up real quick. Oh, no, I'm not hosting anymore. Haha. -ha. Anyway, um, final game of week two here. Uh, we got Eng SR, which was... Ooh, let me see if I can remember. It was like SR20, I think was his original tag that he went by. We're going to have Head Hutton, and we are going to have... Ooh, uh, Fly So Low. Um, and that is going to be making up the... Starting lineup for, oh my goodness, I'm brain farting, Velocity Gaming. And they're actually going to get the opening goal right here, nonetheless. And then in for OP Esports, we should see Joe Taro, Neko, which is named Useless. Very fitting. And who's their third? Mocklin, who's their draft pick. Uh, Head Hutton, Fly So Low, and SR are all three draft picks. Uh, and, you know, I got to say, coming in, oh, they're about to, ooh. Who was to say they're about to go with the goal, right? As to say this, but coming in and you know opening the game with a goal, uh, it really helps you as far as momentum goes. You want to, uh, you can kind of change how you play a little bit because you already got the lead. We'll see if they can hang on to it here. Ball's actually perfectly set up for Neko, but his shot's going to be a little too short, tight. Not sure what we're going for there. He's flashing some of the speed now, though, and he's going to get a light touch here. He's going to slightly mess it up the. Uh, I don't know if he was trying to set that off the backboard to a teammate. I don't know if he's trying to get the solo goal there. We see Jotaro with a shot, though, on a tight angle. And it's a pass from Mocklin. Right off the wall. Kind of messed up the pass a little bit there. Sends it off again with a second touch. And Jotaro's going to capitalize. Mocklin almost in a position where he probably could have saved that ball. And here goes Jotaro. Goes up. Isn't going to get the touch right there. And it's actually going to result in a goal against him. Fly so low is going to capitalize here. Uh, with the pass from SR, he's going to send it off. Headhunt and looked like he was going to try to hit it. I don't think Headhunt got the touch on it, though, because it gave the assist to SR. And Fly so low, able to capitalize. And just like that, Velocity Gaming is up 2 1 on OP Esports. We could have another situation where the supposed super favored team, OP Esports, definitely favored over Velocity Gaming right now, falls to the favored team? And that's... Yikes. That hurts, man. The ball just bounced in. A missed save opportunity right there. That shouldn't have been a goal, but it was. Two people missed that fly so low and SR. Yikes, man. Yikes. That's all I gotta say. Yo, Brandon, what is up, my boy? Here comes Neko, looking to try to get something set up. He's actually going to outpace the ball there. A little bit of miscommunication there. It's actually going to result in Fly Solo getting the clear. And he's going to take a shot, but it, too high. And that was a really rough angle. We've actually seen some really, really good shots on those like corner angles, but not that time, unfortunately. A little bit of an awkward clear out. Left the ball floating. Mocklin's going to capitalize off of that. Tries to set it in the corner. Ooh, and uh, Useless almost had the shot there. Fly Solo looking at the save. Jotaro's going to turn it into a goal, though. Takes it right up off the top of the wall. Actually, he might take... Yeah, right off the top of the wall. I was going to say, he might have taken it off the ceiling, but it does go right off. And OPE now up uh, by a single goal in game one. Last game of week two, CGRL season four. That was, again, one of those awkward ass fucking ways to word everything. We do see Neko get the demo there on SR. And believe it or not, somehow the ball just ends up with SR anyway. Right on his spawn. Headhunting's going to win the challenge there over Mocklin, but just Haro coming in with the follow up. Fly so low, I don't know what he was going for there, flipping into the wall. He's going to get a good clear out, and he's going to get challenged, and it's still going to go in his favor. Mocklin goes in the challenge. It goes in his favor. It might even be a goal. It's just going to float over there. Nope, it's going to go off the backboard. We do see Neko try to follow up, and it looked like he was trying to set up a pass, but he just didn't have anybody there. And Jotaro looking like he was going to get a goal there. Fly so low uh, looks to be the big name for Velocity Gaming right now. He's making some plays.
and just under two, well, a minute, say a minute and 30 left to play. And game's in favor of OP Esports, which is about where we expected, but I don't think anybody expected the game to be this close. SR20 is actually going to clear it over one. Jotaro is there, though. He's going to try to send it back, and Fly So Low is going to clear it out this time. SR20 is going to get the touch, and it's going to go in his favor. I wouldn't necessarily call that a challenge, but I'm, I'm sure somebody would. And, oh, Fly So Low takes a shot. Mocklin with a last-second save. Headhunting is going to go up and challenge. He's going to miss that. Here comes SR. He's going to miss his challenge. And it was it Eustace gets the demo on Headhunt, and it's going to result in a goal. Mocklin able to capitalize there, and OPE goes up 4-2 in game one. Just under a minute left to play. Ooh, fly so look like a goal there, but Jatara's gonna get a really good save. And Jatara gonna capitalize on a the goal there. And this game's starting to get away from Velocity Gaming now. Actual nice shot, just barely got the touch with the back of his car. Nobody was in goal to get the save. Fly so low, losing the ball right there. I don't know if that was intentional or not. He's going to get a big save, though. Comes across, prevents Mocklin from taking the shot. Oh, and I don't know who missed that. I wish I could get a... I'd, I'd probably have to go back and actually look at the replay. But somebody missed an opportunity for a goal there. It probably wouldn't have changed the outcome of the game. Uh, as clocks run out now, 5-2. But definitely had an opportunity there. Uh, don't want to be missing those. He said this shit's boring. Or ZZZ. Yo, Brandon, you gotta get in there and teach him how to make the cool goals. I thought Neko would have some cool go goals, but it's all Jotaro, man. And here we go into game two. OPE up 1-0 on the series in week two. Again, last game of week two. And SR is going to pop the ball up. Fly Solo is going to follow up behind him. They're going to take a little bit of a long shot there. And Jotaro does go up for the save. And a pass from Fly Solo to SR. And SR is going to capitalize with a big goal here. Jotaro just kind of let it float down a little too much there. Fly Solo, pass, boom, big capitalization. What's interesting here is we've seen Velocity Gaming now both games go up early and then OPE end up recovering towards the late of the game and just blow them out. Let's see if this follows the same pattern. Ooh, Mocklin just bumping somebody out of the way. Jotaro's going to get a demo. He probably could have got the goal, uh, but the, maybe not actually. Now that I think about it, maybe not. Eustace is going to get the demo on SR and two big demos and a bump coming from OPE. Uh, Velocity kind of getting bullied around a little bit. There's the long shot. Headhunting. Can he get there in time to get the save? And he cannot. 
Jotaro able to score off of a pass from Useless. I hate calling Neko Useless, but uh, I guess that's what we're going with. And game tied at about, what, 3 minutes and 40 seconds is what we'll say. Tip off going hella in favor of OPE. Good clear out from Fly So Low and another pass to SR. He's going to send the ball all the way over in this corner. It's going to get set up. And they're going to... Uh, was it Neko that missed a touch? But they're actually really lucky. Velocity Gaming missed their touch as well. And Neko! Oh, he just prevented a goal. OPE would have had that goal. It would have just floated right in. Nobody was there for Velocity Gaming to get the save. And Neko's touch prevents it. There's the flick pass useless, or no, not pass useless, pass uh, headhunting. It's going to get past SR. Fly Solo is going to get the lucky save right there. Jotaro with the demo on SR. So definitely have to say, teams that go back and watch this, uh, you, can go, you guys can definitely learn a little something from the demos that you've seen coming out of uh, OP Esports. It's a big part of the game. And we don't see as many teams take advantage of uh, demoing or bumping players to set up plays, to set up shots, to get easier goals. Big save from Fly So Low. I didn't actually think he was going to get there in time. It looked like it was just going to roll right in. <laughs> Brandon said learning from OPE, LOL. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's kind of hard to learn from you when you're 13 and one in a, in a game. What am I gonna learn? How to how to fucking run the score up? Ooh, Mocklin with a big save there. It looked like it was about to be uh, Velocity Gaming goal. Honestly, probably still should have been a Velocity Gaming goal. Ball's up. Jotaro's going to bump headhunting out of the way. Uh, Neko tries to take the shot. It's going to be too high. Fly Solo's going to clear it out of the way. And we're at about a minute and 40 uh, with the game tied 1-1. Uh, series is 1-0 in favor of OP Esports right now. There. SR is going to take the shot. He's going to get it. And just like that, Velocity Gaming's up. Who is in goal? Was it Mocklin? It was... It was Neko. It was useless. SR able to get a big goal there. He's going to put his team up with about a minute and 30 left to play. Uh, and really right now, it's just playing keep away. And as I say that, it might come back to haunt them. Mocklin's going to get spun out of it there by SR. I don't think he bumped him though. Oh, this might be an own goal against him. Ooh, headhunting almost able to capitalize off of a mistake. Uh, again, shot coming in too high though. Fly Solo kind of reading that well, but he sets it up perfectly. Jotaro is going to take the long shot. He almost gets the SR back to get the save. Head hunting with a save there. Jotaro takes the shot. Ball set again. It's going to get cleared out by... I think it was SR. It was. And Jotaro takes a shot, and SR is going to get a save. Whoa! I was not prepared for that one. Ball set again. Nobody there to capitalize, though. Fly Solo going to try to clear it out. He's got to get past two. He gets challenged by Mocklin. Unable to clear it out. SR is just going to pop it up. I feel like SR is probably not the, the thing to call him, but we're just going to go with it. Oh, headhunting. Actually able to retain possession of the ball there. He's going to get the challenge for the 50, and we see Fly Solo is going to try to turn it to shot. Neko is going to get the save. And as the clock runs down, Mocklin actually set it up perfectly. Fly Solo just needs to put the ball on the ground, and he does. Velocity Gaming's going to take game two. Series at 1-1 one one right now. Honestly, a little shocking. He said it appears Neko no longer knows how to jump.
So, just to recap, game one went to OP Esports. They fell behind early and were able to come back and really just blow out Velocity Gaming in that game one towards the second half of the match. And then coming into game two now, Velocity Gaming actually uh, gets their shit together, so to speak, and they're able to capitalize and get a goal or get a, get a game uh, tie now. So the set's 1-1, best of five. Last game of week two. And we see some serious ping coming from OP Esports. Fly so low. He's been having the best game. He's also got the best ping. I don't know if you guys were looking at that. That man's sitting at like 20, 40 ping. Everybody else is like 50 plus. Oh, what a move from SR. Trying to keep the ball in play. Unfortunately, he centers it right to Mocklin, who's going to clear it across. Fly so low is going to get the demo on Jotaro there. SR just clearing in the middle of the field. I don't know what he was going for there. I think he was expecting somebody to follow up. And Neko's going to jump on that early. He was probably looking for the demo or the bump, but I don't think he was able to capitalize on it. And now fly so low trying to take it off, but Jatara's going to clear it out. Headhunting looking. Coming up way too short right here. And Neko able to capitalize. He's going to get the goal there with a pass from Mocklin off that backboard. Fly so low going up. He's going to get a light touch here. He's going to send out the backboard looking to get a double touch. He's not going to get it. And we see SR is going to try to take the shot. Neko's going to get the save. SR is going to miss this play right here. Neko looking for some kind of setup. Headhunting is there to clear it out. Jotaro challenge just gets a 50 off of Fly so low. And Fly so low is actually going to... <laughs> he's gonna win the challenge it looked like he was gonna get a goal the ball got knocked up who is that that went by was that Neko that went by trying to get the save there unfortunately doesn't get it and the ball is just gonna float in uh, really an unfortunate touch out from Mocklin Ooh, Headhunt almost able to turn it into a goal. I'm really surprised the game's tied 1-1 right now. I really expected OP Esports to drive this home. We might get a game that goes to game five just because it feels like these two teams are fairly evenly matched. Ooh, Head Hutton tries to get a touch to keep the ball in play. Unfortunately, he doesn't, and Neko might have an opportunity at an open goal. Fly Solo is going to have to play some good defense here. And he does. Gets the save. Neko unable to capitalize. SR20 is going to try to backflip to clear it out. But he kind of sets it up to Jotaro. He's going to pass to Mocklin. Mocklin's not going to take the pass. And it's going to allow SR to semi-clear it out. And Fly Solo is going to go up and capitalize. Jotaro's touch doesn't go his way as it just kind of pops the ball up even higher. But it is going to bounce towards the goal. Fly Solo is going to get the save though. Last second again. 
Mocklin puts the ball up. Jatara looking to capitalize. I think it was SR that bounced it off the backboard. Ooh, and Neko with a nice touch there. He's just going to pop it on in, and OPE is going to take the lead at a minute and 22. He goes up. Fly so low was close. I think it was kind of SR's job to go in and challenge. Mocklin able to score there, and OPE is actually going to go up. As I was bringing up, that I feel like they should really be running away with this. Uh, they're now at 3-1 with a minute and three left in game three. Mocklin's going to take a shot, and it barely gets saved by Fly So Low. I said his name so weird right there. Don't ask me why. Mocklin's going to send it. Here comes Fly So Low, maybe. He's flying high right now. Ooh! Uh, SR tries to get the shot and able to capitalize there. Jotaro's going to go up and just kind of clear it away. Fly So Low's going to go to challenge, and it's going to go in favor of Jotaro now. We're going to see if they can really just kind of put this game away. It's 3-1, so they don't need the goal. They just really got to run at the clock at this point and put the ball on the ground. And SR is actually able to capitalize on a goal with a one second left to play. They're going to get a tip-off. Mocklin and Neko both go up trying to get the save. Neither are able to capitalize. I think maybe Neko goes up, Mocklin stays, and they get the save right there. Or, like, uh, but I think Mocklin should have definitely been the one to stay on the ground. We're going to have tip-off right here. Jotaro's going to win it, so this should end the game. Yeah, headhunting puts it straight on the ground. That is rough. OPE is going to take game two. Or game three, I'm sorry. Which is going to put them up 2-1 on the series, and they're going to have the opportunity to win here in game four. Fly so low, the the big player for his team, man. Like everything I've seen from this man so far, phenomenal. SR is also doing really good for a rookie show. And headhunting as well. All three of Velocity Gaming's members are performing better than their expectations were set. Or better than the expectations that were set for them initially. Let's see. Uh, this is OP Esports like easiest opportunity right here. Just win the game, series over, and the doubters get silenced. You win three one. Uh, I think if they lose this game and it's that close, you start to really like concern yourself or wonder a little bit. Like, are we actually gonna win? Are we as good as we're supposed to be? Brandon said, I, uh, <laughs> all right, just to clear things up, Brandon, before before you start roasting to, to be hyping some people up, uh, I'm more so highlighting, like, the expectations of the teams and how they're performing so far. Like, Fly Solo has been a huge factor for Velocity Gaming. Maybe not enough to get them the W, but he's still been a huge factor for them. He said they're kind of losing. Oh, little tiny champ was actually subbed in for OP Esports. I didn't get to catch that, unfortunately. Mocklin is still in. Let's see who they kept in with them. Uh, they kept Neko in. I don't believe Velocity Gaming made any changes. I don't know if they have subs available right now or not. And fly so low, able to get the goal here. 
This is going to put it right off the left post. Fly so low, getting a demo there on Neko, and honestly, I think uh, taking Jotaro out uh, might end up coming back to haunt OPE in this game. A lot of demos now. Fly so low, really. Just, I think that's his second demo or third demo so far on the game. A little bit of a double commit there, kind of put them in an awkward position. Headhunt going to set off the wall here. SR is going to capitalize. He's going to turn it to shot. It's not going to go in, though. It's not going to get the goal. A little tiny chance. going to get a clear out slash save. They didn't count as a slave. Should have been a... <laughs> didn't count as a save. Should have been a save. Mocklin's going to get the save, though. And SR trying to get a goal here. It's just going to be too high yet again. See the long shot, long shot slash setup. Wow, I'm just like running over all of my words right now. Yo, Brandon, I got an idea. Next time, why don't you just come cast with me when you're not playing? Or Luminosity, somebody, anybody. Fly Solo setting it up, or not setting up. So I'm so sorry, I was way off. Uh, Neko is setting up in the corner. It's going to get cleared out. We're going to see SR trying to make a play here. Mocklin's just going to shoot the ball down, but he sends it right to Headhunt, who's trying to capitalize here. He's unable to capitalize. Fly Solo comes in trying to take the shot, and he's also unable to capitalize. Two big missed opportunities coming out of Velocity Gaming. And maybe OP is going to be able to turn this around after all. Or, wait. Yeah, yeah, maybe OP is going to be able to... Yeah, I don't know what... I, I was actually so lost in thought right there. And we're just under a minute left to play now, and series is 2-1 in favor of OPE. And the game is now tied 1-1 uh, with about just under a minute left to play. Velocity Gaming needs a goal. Come on. The last thing I want to do is go into overtime. I'm going to be honest. That's probably... I just want the quick... Like, let's get the game over. And it looks like OPE is actually going to capitalize right here. They might get the goal. What? What? <laughs> Tiny Chan just missing his shot going to the, too far to the left. And fly so low able to capitalize here. And that's going to put Velocity Gaming up with 16 seconds left to play in game four. This is exactly what they wanted. Yo, Ronska, that's exactly how I feel. I was like, what? Fly so low with the demo on Neko. 
Tiny Chan's going to try to set the ball up. It's just going to get cleared out. And that should be game four going in favor of Velocity Gaming. So we are going to get to go into game five now. Series tied 2-2. Last game of season two. Or what the fuck am I? I'm so fucking lost. Last game of week two. Holy fuck. Season four. All right. So, I'm really interested to see if they're going to pull a Tiny Chan or maybe Mocklet out to put Jotaro back in the game. You have to assume like one of those two is coming out. Jotaro, Neko, Mocklet. Yep, they're going to sub Tiny Chan back out now that the game is on the line again. And it's been the same three yet again for Velocity Gaming. At the very least, this is some great chemistry building for them just running the same three this early. Uh, if they continue just to run these guys through the entire season, like, should be pretty familiar what everybody's capabilities are by the time playoffs come around. And right off the bat, Jatar with a pass to Neko. Oh, he actually sent it right to Headhunt, and Headhunt's clear. Kind of just set it right up for Neko. Never mind. Should say Headhunt with a pass to Neko. <laughs> Ball is up. Mocklin's going to get to it first, though. Actually really surprised. Uh, I kind of figured... OPE would be moving a bit faster, but it is what it is. Neko's gonna get the demo on head hunting. Let me pause and like recollect myself, guys. Give me a second. No, I'm kidding. Oh, head hunting going in, trying to capitalize off of, uh, off of Neko's touch off the ceiling. He's got an opportunity here. Jotaro, great touch there. Just gonna prevent the ball from being in the field of play. With the flick, it's too high though. Mocklin able to capitalize. Oh, what a save from Fly So Low. That's gotta be a little upsetting. Neko is back though, waiting on that shot. And Jotaro gonna get the demo on head hunting. Neko gonna take it off the ceiling, I wanna say. And SR just gonna take it from him and run with it. Gets past Mocklin. Doesn't get past Jotaro though. Fly so low has got to be the one to do that now. Somebody's got to get a touch here. It goes up. Oh, nope. Neko able to clear it on out. I thought it was going to get past him there for a second. Ooh. Missed opportunity there. I think with Fly so low missing, there was a great opportunity for OPE to try to pile on a goal. And with about three minutes left to play, uh... Again, this kind of looks like OPE's game to lose. Ooh! Oh, that is so unfortunate. Jotaro is going to take the shot. Let's let's see if I can get a good look here. He's going to take the shot. Is it head hunting that's in goal? He's going to miss. Fly so low at an opportunity, but he just bounces it straight up instead of up and out. And it's just going to bounce back down on top of him, and that's a goal. <laughs> Yo, Brandon, it is what it is. I mean, at least it's a game five. That's that's more entertaining than it being a sweep, in my opinion. But to others, maybe not. Mocklin able to capitalize there with a pass from Jotaro. The fuck was that? Suku! Hey! Wake up. You're okay, wake up. Dog was having a nightmare. It's like, what the fuck? It's like, oh no, killer's in the house. SR going to take it off the wall here. Sends it up off that top backboard. Fly Solo is going to try to turn it into a shot. It's going to get saved by Mocklin. <laughs> I 
150 whiffs per game. Yeah, we're, we're, they're trying to set a record for how many shots they can miss and still win. Oh my goodness. I didn't see who Neko was bumping out there, but he's just pushing somebody to the side. Fly Solo's going to go up for the save. He's going to miss. And Mocklin's also going to miss. So again, just kind of leaving some points there. Not that it really matters, though, when there's less than two minutes left to play and your team's already up 3-0. Interesting touch there from Fly Solo. Kind of just handed it over to OPE. I think Neko and Chitara were going for a pinch there. Ooh. Nothing. I was, I don't know what I was expecting there. I was expecting something. They just kind of like held the ball. I don't know what to tell you. And under a minute left to play now. And OPE looking to just easily take this one home. Neko! Ooh, right off the backboard. Pass to himself. And that should be what capitalizes the game. I mean, there's 50 seconds, which is plenty of time to put up four goals. But let's be realistic. Are you actually going to be able to put up four goals in 50 seconds when you're playing against a competent team to some extent? Uh, it's doubtful. Uh, it's possible but improbable. I say about 15 seconds is what you need for a goal because you have to drive down the field usually. There's one or two rotations, a challenge or two here or there. So about 15 seconds. And yeah, I just don't think it's going to be possible for them. Shout out to OP Esports. Ooh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. SR is going to get a goal here with 27 seconds left to play. Head Hunton's going to miss his touch right there. Fly so low is hoping to turn that into a shot. He's not going to get it, unfortunately. And this should round out the game right here. And that's game. Ooh, fingers crossed Fly so low didn't leave uh, too early. He did. That is rough. That I mean, there's only one goal scored, and SR got it. But that's still rough. Uh, you don't get any credit from anything you had. So just putting this out there for anybody that goes back and watches this, just so you guys know. Like, if we're stat tracking, if, you're, if you want a more accurate player rating, if you want your game to look better overall, you need to make sure you stay in until I can get an actual stat line. Because when you leave too early, it just takes away your stat line, as you see here. So I don't know. I don't know if he had five saves. I don't know if he had the, an assist on that goal, which I'm pretty sure he did. But we just don't know. And I can't put it on Slim to go back in through the game and watch and count every time you, you got a goal and every time you got a save. It should be as simple as looking at the stat line. So with that being said, just going forward, anybody that does end up watching through or watching back over this, make sure you're not leaving the games early because it will affect you. On the other end of the stick, yo, shout out to OP Esports, able to rally and get their shit together, and they're going to take home the W today. Last game of week two, uh, I will have a CGSL prospect game stream up at 11 p.m. with a guest caster in Davies, um, and I think that's going to be all for today, and all for, oh no, I have tomorrow at... Ooh, I don't know what time. I want to say 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We should have the first episode of one of our new series. You guys remember Thursday Thoughts, hosted by Danger Ranger. This time around, it's going to be Cleedy G Weekly News. Didn't come up with the name. Don't ask me. Um, and that's going to be hosted by Danger Ranger yet again. He's going to have a few new guests on. They're going to explain some of the new major changes coming to the CGSL preparing for Season 2. 
Uh, I think we should have an article or two ready to be unveiled. We should have weekly recaps running every week again now. So uh, there should be something for you guys to read up on, uh, whether it's drama, whether it's, you know, records, whatever. Uh, I don't know what's actually going to be written, so I, I can't tell you anything as far as that goes. And uh, just again, that is going to be all outside of the CGSL Prospect game at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. Uh, yeah, have fun, guys. And feel free to tune in then.